What up fam? Welcome back to 88 Bit Tech. I'm AJ and today we are fixing a bricked GPU. More specifically, this bricked GPU. This was actually my first graphics card I picked up for my first Australian PC build. I built PCs before in the US, but this was the first PC I built in Australia and it was the Soyo RX 580 8GB 2040 SP. And this was a really cool looking card, first of all. However, I have some reservations about this card. Uh, I mean, it worked great uh, out of the box, but then I overclocked it and ended up uh, making the card unstable doing that. So I had to underclock and undervolt the GPU to make it stable and I did get it stable and I tried to edit the BIOS to make this card permanently clocked lower so it was stable when I put it into a new system but ended up breaking the GPU. So we're going to try and fix it today and even though this says it's an RX 580 2048 SP it only has, I don't know if you guys can see that, a 6 pin connector. So I'm thinking this isn't even a real RX 580 2048 SP. It is more likely an RX 570 8 gigabyte that's been flashed into an RX 580 2048 SP. That said, this early model of the RX 580 8 gigabyte 2048 SP on AliExpress is one of the better ones because it doesn't actually have a plastic housing. A lot of the ones that you get now off AliExpress are like a full plastic housing. This actually has a real metal backplate. This is definitely a step up in quality from some of the RX 580 8GB 2048 SPs that I've gotten off there recently. Some of them had no backplates, other of them had plastic backplates, but this one's metal. So props to you, Soyo, for that one. And I think it is actually a really, really nice looking card. It's got three display ports and one HDMI. So come along with me and see if I can fix this bricked GPU. So in order to fix a bricked GPU, you're going to need either a CPU with integrated graphics or another GPU with a motherboard that supports two graphics cards. The reason for this is you won't be able to run display uh, out from your bricked GPU, so you're going to need a way to see what you're doing on the screen. And that's where the integrated graphics or another GPU will come in hand. Let me show you the system that we're going to do this on. Because I don't have a CPU with integrated graphics, I'm going to have to use a motherboard with a secondary graphics card that I can use to display the image on the computer so I can flash the BIOS onto the RX 580 8GB. This is our open test bench here. We've got a Intel Arc A580 with the Ryzen 5 5600X. The motherboard is the MSI Mag Mortar with two PCI X16 slots. So I can plug in the RX 580 in there to flash the BIOS using my Intel Arc. First step is installing the other graphics card. We won't do it while the system is on, so let's shut the computer off here. So we're going to go ahead and get that installed. Success! All right, so I'm going to go ahead and capture my screen here using Intel Arc's capture software, and we are now recording. First off, let's see if we can even recognize the RX 580 in this system. So we've got the Intel Arc A580, that's the card that we're running the display off of, and the RX 580 is recognized. You can see GPU clocks at 0 Hz, 0 MHz, 0 MHz memory, GDDR5, it's listing it as the RX 580 2048 SP, 8GB model, yeah, but it's not working. Okay guys, so after a lot of trial and error, um, probably an hour and a half of troubleshooting and the BIOS uh, ATI D, uh, or AMD DB flash not working. I eventually did get it working. 
So you're going to want to go to uh, AM Tech Power Up or just Google search AMD VB Flash and go to show older versions. The version that you're going to want to use is ATI Flash 2.93. Once that gets downloaded, go to your downloads folder. You want to run AMD VB Flash Win as administrator. It's, a pretty, it's actually a pretty simple process this way. You're going to want to load the image that you've downloaded from their vi the video BIOS collection. Find one that works or find one that you trust. I just went with the top one here. I have the, even though mine's a Soyo, I got the Elsa RX580 2048SV 8GB. If you look at the details on here, um, it's the same BIOS as all of these cards and Soyo RX580 is listed there. So I'm just going to stick with that one. And then you're in this window here. You can see that this is already loaded because I already fixed it. I already flashed the BIOS, but you go to load image, you know, go to go to where you downloaded that BIOS, select it, hit program, it'll run, and then you hit OK. Then you just have to reboot your computer and it'll be set. But you can check, we can check to see if it's working now. If you go to GPU Z. We will see that, so we still have my Intel Arc A580 there, and that's perfectly fine. But we're going to go into the AMD Radeon RX 580 2048SP, and now you'll see before it had a GPU and a memory clock of 0 and 0, now it's reading 20, 1286 and 1750. So it is absolutely working now. Uh, final test is going to be pl uh, plugging it into a display and see if we get a display out, which we'll do now. Let's run the main display onto this card and see if it works. It was artifacting before, that's why I tried to flash the BIOS, but maybe this will work. Will we get a display? And we have a display, guys. Main display is coming off the RX 580. It is absolutely working now. Awesome. Alrighty, easy. We don't have AMD drivers installed on here, so I imagine we're going to get some artifacting going on. Let's go to Device Manager, Display Adapters, and we have both listed. There's the RX 580, 8GB, 2048SP, and the Intel Arc A580. We're running both. We have two GPUs running here, guys, and it is sweet.
Hopefully you guys learned something from that video. Just goes to show you that you shouldn't be afraid of making mistakes. The first time I tried to flash BIOS myself, I bricked the GPU and eventually I did get around to fixing it and it was a pretty simple process. You'll find that one of the best things you can do when you're running into issues with uh, anything in tech is using Google. Uh, Reddit forums, YouTube videos, Google the error codes that you're running across and more than likely you're going to run across someone else who has run into that same problem and has found a solution. And that's what I did and I was able to, after a bit of troubleshooting and some time and patience, most of the time you will be able to fix the problem that you've encountered. Hopefully you learned something from the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.